Jesus is definitive in saying it's done. It's finished. We're not finishing what Jesus started. It's already taken care of. We are called to share the finished work that Jesus has done. Jesus never says, hey, you know what? The Great Commission, this whole thing, it's riding on you. It's you or nothing, man. We are the legacy that Jesus leaves behind with Christ's ascension. And then just a couple of days later, the arrival of Pentecost, we become the body of Christ. That language in Scripture is intentional. Leaving us with a great commission, Jesus passes the baton to us to continue to sow the seeds of salvation he first cast upon this earth, to harvest the fruit of the kingdom of God that Christ, through his life, death, and resurrection, has established. Many of us do not receive this news of Jesus passing the baton to us very well. Many of us freak out about this. We perceive this great commission Jesus gives to us to go and make disciples, to teach others what Jesus taught us, to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to reach out for Christ to the ends of the earth. And we freak out because we're like, man, that's far beyond my capability. That's far beyond our capacity. That's way bigger than any of us. And make no mistake, it is. All of it, beyond us, all of us together. But here's the thing. Jesus doesn't just, doesn't just do all the heavy lifting, get the ball rolling in terms of turning this world around and then exit stage right, leaving us responsible for finishing what he started. Hear this, church. Jesus doesn't make us responsible for the Great Commission. Jesus never tells us to finish what he started. This is subtle but significant. Jesus calls us to be responsive to the Great Commission. Jesus instructs us to share the finished work he has already accomplished. Jesus is definitive in saying it's done, it's finished. We're not finishing what Jesus started. It's already taken care of. We are called to share the finished work that Jesus has done. Jesus never says, hey, you know what? The Great Commission, this whole thing, it's riding on you. It's you or nothing, man. We're not responsible for the Great Commission. We're called to be responsive to the Great Commission.